Greetings, I'm Garrett and these are reviews from Mob.org. Today's guest of our reviews are striking examples of both good and bad implementations of classic time killers. Welcome, Zombie Ragdoll Arcade Game, Stylish Puzzle Dots, and the slasher Smash the Office. First of all, let's examine an example of a poor idea realization. In Zombie Ragdoll Arcade Game, you are to literally use our favorite zombies as cannon fodder. The objective of the game is simple. Use elementary physics as a basis and chop the poor zombies to pieces. Oh dear! I think the tossing of lively cannonballs and physics interaction has also reminded you of one very famous game about birds. But unlike the legendary Angry Birds game, this one has very poor realization. The game graphics are so clumsy that sometimes the animation is played incorrectly or there's no animation at all. On the whole, the game Zombie Ragdoll looks like an immature beta version made offhand by a zombie. So, you might not want to download, or you might want to give it a shot. Now, let's have a good look at an example of a good realization. No, it's not the looser color test and not the new twister on a tablet. This is the logic puzzle Dots, based on the good old idea of connect the dots. Such games have existed on the antediluvian cell phones. It may also happen that Mayan tribes used to play them. In general, there's nothing new in the idea itself, but the creators of Dots decided to make the game to be an ideal by making a maximum quality project out of it. Following the tendencies of graphic design, the developers turned a classic time killer into a stylish minimalist wrapper with a little pink bow. A couple of words on the gameplay itself. Dots has two basic game modes, a game against the clock, where you have to score as many points as you can in 60 seconds, and a step-by-step -step mode, where you have a limit of 30 moves to make it. Well, you know, sometimes you want to have a rest after all those puzzles, and you need to play some crazy slasher from time to time. This is the very point our last guest was made for. It's the crazy slasher, Smash the Office. The game objective is to smash up as many of the office equipment pieces as possible. For what reason? Well, because our hero has spent an entire night writing an idiotic report, and after completing a titanic but successful work, the computer blinked with the blue screen of death. Sound familiar to you? Anybody? Anybody? Obviously our poor clerk got infuriated and began slashing his office one room after another. Though our hero is a standard representative of office monkeys, he has a rather wide arsenal of tools for vandalism, such as a hammer, a fire axe, a spoon, and even a samurai katana. Besides, he finds different bonuses along the way, such as extra time, strike reinforcements, or a large stature caused by some particularly weird mushrooms. Take your pick. You choose what to play. That's all for today. If you liked it, then download them, put a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and join the group. This was Garrett and a review from Mob.org. See you soon.